everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Amina Mohamed Kone, aka Riri Crush, giving you guys nothing but the best. Welcome, my Riri Crush gang, Team Tourism, Team Salon TT, Team Miss Amina Inspiring Moment. It's yet another Monday, a brand new video, and I'm, it's about to get hated, you know, you guys. I love coming here to talk to you. So, to keep you guys all entertained and informed or whatever, you know, showing you guys pretty much of what I do. So, yeah, if you're new, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're not, yeah, please do. So you can support a salon TT like me, yeah? So, this video is so juicy. And you know the reason why? Because we're going to be giving some tips on how to know certain things. So, last week's video, you guys really went crazy over my Instagram page, asking me a lot of questions which I would love to respond to them all. But there was one particular one which was so juicy and it was by Maria Tu Content. She texted me, she wanted to know how would you know a guy is a player aka fuckboy. Means he doesn't want you for seriousness. And I'm like, mm, girl, your girl is experienced. And for sure, if you haven't watched my video just yet, this is your first time, I'm the kind of person who mingle a lot with people and ask questions and interact and especially with boys to know what they think about ladies, you know. In those type of way so I'm not a doctor uh, I'm not a therapist or yeah so these are stuff that have happened to me and also stuff that I've also gathered information from other people who are like you know in the game more than me and all that so I have five five tips you could know a guy is a fuck boy aka player number one is when he keeps texting you without calling you you know sometimes when you have all these guys in your DM they keep texting you and they don't even Take the extra hour to kind of call you maybe they call you just through whatsapp which is so it's not okay i might understand if you're not in the country but you know that you and i are in the country yeah and you're just texting me through whatsapp and just or facebook and not even going like once in a while to call my line directly and it's just like that that's when you know he's not serious because if a guy really wants you he'll go the extra mile to call you and even check on you or even uh you know treat you like a girl because he wants you for real so that is number one and through that process he just texts you and let's just say we made a date for a night okay and then in the morning he texts you once and then he doesn't talk to you for the whole day to even say oh what are you gonna wear or where do you want us to go or even asking you those checking on you on those times like let's just say he texts you in the morning about nine o'clock just to confirm if the date was gonna be right he said yeah the date's gonna be right and then he doesn't get back to you till like five when he knows like it's an hour to the dinner and go like are you ready do you want me to come and pick you ah that's a fuck boy because if it's a real guy that wants you he'll text you all throughout the day asking you what you're gonna wear i can't wait to come close to you what perfume are you gonna be wearing asking you questions how's your day going do you want me to maybe send somebody lunch for you or those kind of stuff it's not all about the money but trust me that caring you know a lady will know that this guy mean business so Anyway, that is tip number one. And then tip number two, um, don't take you on a dinner. He goes straight to the point. When did they come fed me? I know most of you are familiar with that word. When are you gonna come to my house? Or, you know you can't work on me us? They go straight to the point without treating you like a lady. You know, I don't know for other people, but I'm an old school. I believe in going out with a guy on a date, get to know me, so my classic, romantic, at least. You know, it show you how much you really care about this lady is a princess and all that. Even if it's not that, but just maybe for soccer, tennis, or maybe for swimming, all that is dates. It's not, it shouldn't be specifically in your house. Like, come on. It, guys are just crazy. So when you know a guy doesn't take you out on a date, he goes straight to the point. Mm, he's a fuck boy. He just want to, you know, visit those cookies. And after that, he's gone. So the moment he say, when you they can't fend me, or how would they see, you know they can't have me oh, ah, he's a fat boy, take notes. So number three is, um, girls, this one is so real. I almost got tricked by this, honestly. When you meet a guy, he gets to trick you with money. The society has painted us that women do like money. Of course we like money, but like, guys know that we can be easily be, you know, moved by cash or money gifts and stuff like that 
So the first time he, for example, like an experience by me, a guy texted me and he was like, oh, what's up? How you doing? I was like, I'm fine. I'm good. Who's this? And he introduced himself to me. And I was like, oh yeah, we used to be in the same group. And I think I met him one or twice, but we weren't really close. He, we just saw ourselves from a distance. I'm like, hi, hi. And I was like, oh, okay, fine. Good. And I was like, um, oh, by the way, I had some money in my, he is using another network. Let's just say there's two different companies. And he was like, oh, he wants to send some money for me. But the thing is that I'm using another network. So he just wished he, we were using the same network. He would have sent money for me. And I was like, oh, really? And then I was like, okay, cool. And then later he started bringing stuff like, um, then he texts me. He's like, oh, what are you doing today? I was like, I'm just here at work, pretty hectic. And I was like, oh, okay, fine. But I thought, you know, maybe I could see you later. I just want to pass through the bank. I have some bills to pay. And hopefully I will take you out for lunch. Bitch, he's trying to show you. He's trying to get you through money. Thinking like, making you think like, oh my God, this guy's loaded and all that. So when a guy fools you with money on a first topic, when I don't start for talk, when you don't begin to say the acts, like do that suggestion oh do you want me to buy this this oh bitch is a fuck boy that might be the last money he's gonna be spending on you trust me i've seen that before okay so number four here is uh when he fools you with travel girl this has happened to me multiple times i'm not gonna confess very long time ago Okay, I'm just gonna burst my friend's secret. Well, actually, a friend of mine, but we're not friends anymore due to. Guys, let me know if you guys want me to do a story time on this particular story. Why me and my friends are not friends anymore? Because, yeah. Anyway, a guy wanted to trick me. Yo, not me, her. So she was like, yo, girl, what's up? We haven't been talking for a while. And then we kind of like started talking, and I was like, girl, what's up? What have you been up to? What's been popping? What's the latest? And then she's like, it's cool. And she's like, oh my God, I mean, I'm the most luckiest girl in the world. I'm like, why? And the guy, she was like, I met this guy, and we're cool and all that. He's not in this country. And then he started asking me for my passport, if I want to travel and all that. But right now, he has his agent in Sierra Leone. When he comes, he's going to spend like two weeks, and from there, he's going to give the agent his number to the to me the agent's number to me and then they can arrange my passport so i can go and meet him those kind of stuff and i was like girl wait a minute the guy's over there what is he coming and he was like oh he's coming like four months from now and i'm like why can't he make you see the agent now process the visa or whatever on your passport so when he comes you guys can go together Girl, the guy wants to come and do you and go and leave you with a wrong number. Get the drill. So that was one thing I told her and she was like, oh my freaking God. And indeed it happened. So good. I was there to give her number one tip, number four tip. And then she totally got rid of him. Was, she was like, she's done with him. You know, a lot of stuff like that happened. Guys think that girls want this luxury, they want to travel, and they want to just have that, you know, I'm in England picture, I'm in America picture, so they get to fool you, but you want to travel stuff situation, that's what they do. So number five is, he doesn't reply to your text. When you text him on social media, girl, the amount of bullshit girls go through nowadays is just too much. I can feel the range all the time. These guys are so fucking smart, so fucking good at what they do. They think they could just come and toy with you. That's why I'm talking to you guys, my ladies. You can't let a guy toy with your feelings because you deserve better. You're the beauty. You got your own. You better be your own boss. You don't should let a guy ride you like that. So a guy will be talking all sweet on your PB or DM, talking to you all sweet, wasting all the beautiful times, the beautiful late night talks, and all those wonderful things. But when he posts his picture on social media and you, you write something like, oh boo, that is so cute, keep working, he just give you a like, a like, like a like, without responding back. He's a player. Why? If you want me so bad and you claim you love me and you want to be with me, aka can't live without me, why can't you just respond to my text in public? 
He's a fuckboy. He has multiple ladies he'll be talking to and probably not even answering to because he doesn't want to get, he doesn't want to lose you because he hasn't got what he wanted. So you see the drills. So those are the five tips I'm telling you guys to look out for, you know, a guy is a fuckboy. Yeah, aka player. So that is it. I hope, Marital, I have answered to your question. I hope you make good use of it. For those of you who are new, welcome. And I hope to see you guys next week. Till next time, your girl, Amina Marmekone, signing.